Welcome back everyone and in today's video I'm going to be checking out this uh, nice old Japanese booster box. So I actually bought this from uh, Collector's Cash almost an entire year ago. I picked this up at Nationals last year so they had a, a stand essentially set up. This is the Japanese uh, version of Majestic Dawn. Well, I think uh, there, this and then another set made up, Majestic Dawn. Um, this, I believe, roughly translate, translates to Moonlit Pursuit. Really cool name. And features, I think, like Cresselia Level X is the big one, as you can see from the front of the, of the box. But I think there's other ones. Um, uh, Garchomp Level X and Honchkrow Level X. And I think that's it. So just three Level Xs in here. Um, those are really the big ones and no real like Chinese or anything like that. So hopefully we'll be able to get most of the set in this opening. And then I'll just have to pick up the last few cards. So let me see if I can find a perforation or something to tear this. Um, I forget how much I spent on this since it was well over a year ago, but I, I'm pretty sure it was well under $100. So cool thing about collector's cash in person, their prices are much better than on their site. And actually, hold on a minute, I gotta grab a pair of scissors because this package does not want to... Plastic does not want to let go. All right. Well, <laughs> that's some tough plastic. So I'm not even sure how many uh, packs are in this thing, although we will find out pretty shortly. Just carefully pop this open. This this has just been sitting on my desk until um, essentially a rainy day. And while today actually isn't rainy, although yesterday was, um, today or this weekend has been kind of a, a bummer weekend. I had to euthanize and bury my 10-year-old uh, Oscar fish. Um, Oscar is just the species. Um, he, his name was Spartacus, and uh, 10 years, 10, 10 plus years is the, pretty much the average lifespan. Um, oh, and by the way, these are all first edition, so cool thing. And uh, he just decided he didn't want to live anymore. Uh, he stopped eating, pretty much put himself on a starvation diet, could not get him to to bounce back, and um, finally just said it was, it was time to say goodbye. So uh, I skipped my tournament today to um, bury him and take care of his tank and all that mess. Um, literally mess. Um, he had a 55-gallon tank, so that was quite a lot to, to clean up. And uh, I'm just gonna cheer myself up with this beautiful Japanese opening that I've been saving for almost a year now. So I don't know what order the cards come in, uh, like where my rare um, hollow is. And I think I just answered my question. So I was gonna do this first pack just um, normal way, and then I'll do the trick for the rest of the packs. So it looks like a uh, hollow tangro. So the uh, looks yeah, the hollow is gonna be the very first card. And I think yep, that's a rare. So, Explode, and I'm probably going to mess some names up. Um, oh, there's another rare. Cool, three rares. Houndoom. Um, actually, let me move these over here. And like I said, I'll probably mess up some of the names since they're Japanese, and I'll kind of glance at the, the pictures, and I might mix some stuff up, but um, I think that'll be all right. Eevee. Uh, Torchic. Porygon. Oh. I definitely forget who that one is. We haven't had one uh, that one in a long time. Uh, Premier Ball, I believe. Uh, something like an amulet? Amulet coin. I've got the list beside me, so I'll probably refer to that every now and then. Relancanth and, cool, Metal Energy. Um, actually, I could look up what the green guy is. I'll probably recognize it. Volbeat. There we go, Volbeat. And cool thing about these older Japanese packs, they are so much easier to get open than the newer ones. I don't have to sit here and fight and struggle, and I can keep the packs in, in pretty much, you know, obviously opened, but in, like, mint condition, in case anyone uh, would like to add them to their pack wrapper collection. So we start off with another Eevee. Weedle. Saviper, I think. Uh, maybe Saviper? Or am I thinking of someone else? Um, well, nope, it is a viper. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Slowpoke, Call Energy. That that was a card that really, really uh, changed the game for quite a while. Granbull, 
Combuskin and Lightning Energy. So it looks like we get one energy per pack. Kind of a bummer because, uh, yeah, what am I going to do with those? First rare is Unknown H. Yeah, that's H. Second rare is a Weavile. And my Hollow, if I can pick it up. Ooh, Rotom. As and these are the hollows I like. Uh, simple, sparkly, and um, yeah, uh, it, it's just they're very simple and clean. Much better than our current black and white hollows. So three cards there: Snubble, Kangaskhan, Makuhita, Drowsy, another Premier Ball, Loudred. Uh, unknown G. Yeah, that's a G. And a Fighting Energy. Rare number one, Skarmory. Rare number two, a Slowking. And my Hollow. Oh, another Rotom. So there's the first duplicate. Uh, a non common, uncommon duplicate, obviously. I really like that you get two rares per and a hollow per pack. Houndor, uh, Wismer, Spiro, Tangela, Amulet Coin, Unknown F, Hypno, and a Fire. Rare number one, ooh, Wailord. Rare number two, my Lodic. And my hollow, ooh, Porygon uh, uh, Z. Let's see, just making sure my camera is nice and focused in. I keep on running into the uh, box. I think typically I have my camera set back a little further, but so far everything looks to be focusing pretty nicely, so I think I'll just keep things the way they are. Three. Houndor. Porygon. Makuhita. Wilmer, Hypno. Uh, oh, what a Walsh Makuhita. Um... Hariyama, there we go. Uh, Marsh Top and a Water Energy. My first rare, ooh, Vaporeon. My second rare, another Weavile, so there's the first duplicate uh, non hollow rare. And my hollow, oh, beautiful Cresselia. And oh, I love the moon in the background, just and the sparkles. Ah, very, very beautiful card. Somehow I pulled off a little piece of the wrapper. One, two, three. Houndor, Drowsy, Sviper, Slowpoke. I like that Slowpoke. Uh, Call Energy, Unknown F, Marsh Tump, and a Water Energy. My rare number one is a Zapdos. Rare number two is a Beedrill. Uh, my Hollow is another Rotom. Ugh. I definitely don't like seeing three Hollows in a box, but then again, maybe there aren't many Hollows in the set. Um, trying to see. Swampert is a Hollow in this set that I haven't pulled yet. Um, I can't see the entire list at, on, on one glance. Porygon. Weedle, Lunatone, Coughing, Call Energy, Moonlight Stadium, nice. Hypno, and a Fire Energy. Rare number one, ah, Duplicate Skarmory. Rare number two, a uh, Duplicate Slowking. And my Hollow, if I could pick it up. Ooh, Blaziken. So some of these cards, um, look familiar, and not just look familiar because, um, you know, they've obviously all been reprinted in English, but I think I might actually have gotten some of these from um, a bulk lot of Japanese cards that I bought once, so um, I might actually have some of the ultra rares from this set too, so instead of doing a normal uh, set recap vid uh, video at the end, I might save that for a later video until I can sort through some other stuff and uh, add to it. Lunatone. Saviper, uh, Volbeat, 
Scyther, that's a nice one. I think that's Felicity. Porygon Z, Amulet Coin, and a Dark Energy. My two rares, um, well, oh, Scizor, that's a new one. And my other one, Slowking. So I'm probably going to get tons of these duplicate rares since there's two per pack. And my Hollow, duplicate Cresselia, but uh, I don't know, Cresselia is so pretty that I don't mind having duplicates of her. I'm guessing I'll probably get one level X out of the entire box, um, since there's only three level X in the set, and I'm looking at the wrong one. I was about to do the one, two, three, one, two trick. Eevee, Snubble, Kangaskhan, Kakuna, Felicity, Unknown G, yep, Unknown G, um, Tariyama, and a Grass Energy. Rare number one, ooh, another Vaporeon. Rare number two, is another uh, Whale Lord, and Hollow is another Blaziken, so lots and lots of duplicates. I'm actually going to scan through the list real quick and see what else is left. Um, okay, Hollow Mewtwo is one. Uh, Hollow Tangrowth, I think I pulled, did I pull that one? Uh, I think that was the first one, yeah. So, Hollow Mewtwo, Hollow Swampert, um, there may be a few further down on the list. And then, of course, all the level X's. Torchic, Whalmer, ooh, that's a new one, Omastar, Slowpoke, Moonlight Stadium, Unknown G, um, Tariyama, and Grass Energy. Rare, actually, rare number one, Omastar. Duh, have I? I think I pulled that one. Actually, maybe I didn't. Um, so cool. And another Vaporeon. And my hollow is another Porygon. So that's not bad. Um, still the, the first duplicate of Porygon. Now, if I don't get the, the Mewtwo and Swampert hollows um, in here, I'll be a little bummed out. Let's see. Kangaskhan, Makuhita, Coughing, Slowpoke, Felicity, uh, Warp Energy, I think. Or did Warp Energy look a little bit different? Um, well, I'm trying to look at the list. Re sorry, Recover Energy. So that's the first Recover. Unknown G, and a Psychic Energy. That's the first Psychic, too. Actually, I'm just gonna... Actually, no, I can't do that. There's the Hollow. Uh, rare is a Skarmory. Oh, nice. Umbreon. I don't have that one yet. And my Hollow? Perfect. Mewtwo. So, I think this was, was this in Majestic Dawn or was this in Legends Awakened? I did notice that uh, I think the Slow King actually made it to our Great Encounter, so it's not quite um, a perfect lineup with our Majestic Dawn. I just think, I guess some of the cards just made it to Majestic Dawn and others made it to other sets. Let's see, do this right. Porygon, Seviper. Omastar? I'm sorry, yeah, that, no, that's... It's Omen Knight, sorry. I saw that it evolved, and but that's just from a fossil. Uh, Slowpoke, uh, Granbull, Amulet Coin, and uh, Hariyama with a Lightning. And for Rares and Hollow, ooh, Weezing. Have I, I don't think I've pulled a Weezing yet. Another Umbreon, very nice. And another Mewtwo, so uh, looks like my worries about not getting a Mewtwo were, um, I don't need to worry about that. Uh, still need a Swampert Hollow, I believe. Um, I pulled Porygon Z, pulled Cresselia, pulled Mewtwo, oh, there's a Darkrai Hollow too, so I gotta get the Darkrai. Love that Pokemon. Eevee, Porygon, Wilmer. Uh, Mudkip. Is that the first Mudkip? Uh, Felicity, Premier Ball, Hypno, and another Dark. And let's see, Rares and Hollow. We have another Milotic, another Omastar, and another Blaziken. So all duplicates in that pack. 
Looks like we still have about 10 packs left, so um, I think there are probably, what, 20 packs in this box with, I think, 11 cards in each? So, good number of cards. Um, I do like these packs a lot better than the newer packs. You just, you're guaranteed something good in them, um, rather than the half packs. Porygon, Kakuna, Drowsy, Oma Knight. Oh, Rare Candy. That is the first Rare Candy. I've gotten plenty of, like, Amulet Coins and Premier Balls. Uh, I think that's the first Fero, Marsh Tomp, and a Fighting Energy. And for my rares and hollow, we have Omastar. Ooh, Zapdos. I have I pulled a Zapdos yet? Yeah, I've already pulled a Zapdos. And another Mewtwo. So, um, three Mewtwo's. Was it that? Th no, I had a Blaze again in there. I was like, it wasn't quite three Mewtwo's in a row. Lunatone, Phoebus, I think that might be the first Phoebus, um, another Mudkip, Tangela, another Premier Ball, Fero, Unknown G, and a Fighting Energy. And for my Rares and Hollow, we have another Milotic, another Omastar, and another Porygon. So, is it just the Swamper and Darkrai that I'm missing? Um... Swamper, yeah, it's just Swamper and Darkrai that I need, and, and then the level X. Um, now, I haven't gone through the rares list, but I'm assuming that I probably have most of them. And the non hollow rares are probably going to be pretty easy to pick up. Hollows may be a little more difficult. Kakuna, Spiro, Whelmer, uh, Mudkip, Fero, Recover Energy. Hey, that's the first uh, fossil. I don't know which fossil this is, if it's Helix or... Oh, okay, and there's only one fossil in this set, so it's Helix Fossil. And a Fire Energy. My rares and hollow, we have a Weezing, Explode, and a Tangrowth. So all duplicates there as well. Eevee, Torchic, Phoebus, Oma Knight, Fero, Unknown F, uh, Relincanth, uh, it's been a while since I've seen one of those, and a Dark Energy, oops, well, there's my two rares, uh, Weezing, and a Houndoom, and then my Hollow, if I can pick it up, there we go, there's Darker Eye. That is one really sick dark cry. So all we need now is Swamper and a level X. One, two, three. Snubble, uh, coughing, Phoebus, Volbeat, Felicity, Fero, Combuskin, and a Psychic. Come on, Swampert. My rares are Whale Lord and Unknown H, and Hollow is just a Tangrowth. Oh no, we've only got two packs left. Maybe I won't even be guaranteed a level X. I thought for sure one level X per box, but man, I, I might be wrong. Torchic, Wismer, Porygon. Lunatone, uh, Porygon Z, Moonlight Stadium, or Moonless Stadium, whatever it is, uh, Slow Bro, and a Metal Energy. My rares, Omastar and Zapdos. And come on, Swamp Rider Level X. Oh, there we go, Garchomp Level X. So, had me worried there that I wasn't going to pull an Ultra Rare, but... Beautiful, beautiful, minty, fresh Garchomp. And if I remember right, this one was like, if, it, if it's in your discard pile, you can like just bring it back out, or, or it lets you brought something out without, uh... I think it lets you bring Pokemon out of the discard pile without having to like evolve them or something like that. It's really interesting. Alright, so all I need now is a Swampert Hollow. 
and we'll be good to go. Houndor, Snubble, uh, Kakuna, Drowsy, Explode, or Loudred, I'm sorry, uh, Combuskin, Hariyama, and a Water Energy. My, uh, well, rare number one is a Scizor. Rare number two, oh, wow, uh, Latios. So that's the first Latios. Um, I completely missed that on the set list, so uh, I ended up did, uh, yeah. So uh, maybe I actually don't even have the non holo rares complete. Hmm. And my holo Swampert Swampert. Oh, Cresselia. So I know I'm missing at least uh, three cards from the set. A Swampert holo, a Honchkrow level X, and a Cresselia level X. Um, I think I'll go ahead and just upload this now, and uh, while that, you know, uploads and everything, I can be sorting all this stuff out for a set recap for tomorrow's video. So, stay tuned!